Hi, I'm Evernote certified expert Stacey Harmon, and welcome to episode five of Evernote in the Wild Provence edition. In this series, I'm showing you how I use Evernote to support me in staying organized, productive, and on task for an upcoming trip I'm taking to Provence. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how I use a packing checklist to save time and really ease a lot of stress around packing at the last minute. And let me tell you, it's time to pack. Like I leave tomorrow and I haven't even started packing. Uh, I've got a lot of work to get done before I can. Uh, really focus on that. So I'm very relieved to have this packing checklist to rely on. It saves me oodles of time. Uh, I have over the years built a pretty comprehensive checklist of all the things I might possibly want to pack. I've got different categories. If I'm packing for, you know, an international trip, there's a sec section in there just specific to that trip, which I'll utilize during this packing adventure. And uh, things like if it's warm weather or cold weather, things to not forget. Obviously, I don't always pack everything that's on the list, but it really is an easy way to make sure that I can quickly put things in my bag and also uh, not forget anything. Now, the truth is that the checklist is actually a form of template. It's a type of note that I have organized in a checklist notebook sitting there waiting for me for exactly this use case. When it's time to you know, pack for a trip, I duplicate the note and then start checking things off. And I use the Evernote checklist feature to track all the items and I just click them off either from my mobile phone or take my laptop into my bedroom and start packing away. So let me take you into Evernote and show you exactly how I add the pack checklist to my France notebook and I'll get going packing. I already have the checklist living in my account so I'm just going to navigate to it. The quickest way that I find to do that is to use the jump command and I type in checklist and navigate to the notebook which I know I have multiple checklists in and then I just find the note and I copy the note to my France notebook. So it's an alternative way of doing a template and it works really well. Uh, then I'm going to navigate to that copy of the note and in this case I'm just going to retitle the subject line and pull out that uh, packing checklist line there. I probably should alter the source template <laughs> to make it a little more relevant. I'm also going to add a non-dated reminder here to put it on my reminders tab uh, and have quick access to it uh, while I go pack. So that's how I get the checklist into my notebook and you can see I've got everything I possibly could pack. Uh, I might not pack it all but at least it's all there for me in case I decide I need to add it to my suitcase. So there it is, how I use a packing checklist in my account. Obviously, there's a lot of use cases for this type of template checklist feature. Figure out a way to try it out in your account and let me know how it goes. I'll be back next time with more tips. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to my Harmon Enterprises YouTube channel in order to be automatically notified of the next episode. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.